Hey everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cook with April on Thirsty Thursday. Some of my friends and I have come together to create some non-traditional holiday dishes and my contribution is this delicious spice cider mm. made with pumpkin. So I hope you enjoy. So this is what you'll need for your pumpkin apple cider. You'll need apple cider, cinnamon sticks, cloves, and pumpkin puree. Let's get started by placing two cups of apple cider in a saucepan and turn that on to medium heat. Next, you're going to add one stick of cinnamon and five whole cloves. After five minutes of simmering, we're gonna add pumpkin puree. This is a half a cup of pumpkin puree. We're gonna add that and we're gonna whisk. Mix those ingredients in there. Continue to whisk and let it simmer for about five more minutes. Now you're ready to enjoy your drink. Using a strainer, go ahead and pour your drink directly into a mug, like so. This will prevent the cinnamon sticks and the pumpkin puree mash from going in the drink. Lastly, add cinnamon sticks as decor, and you're ready to enjoy your drink. Alrighty, taste tester Justin's ready to try. Ooh, I love man, I love the decor with the cinnamon stick. Right I know, here. and you can stir your drink too. Like this, this is like fall in a cup right here for sure. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh, that's mm. fantastic. That's really. It's good. really good. It's so mm. good. You can taste. I mean, the cinnamon. I mean, the cinnamon stick definitely adds like a dimension to it, but also that you added cloves in there, right? Mm. It, the cloves is like a great aroma and yeah. it also tastes like oh it adds God. a flavor to it. I would make this, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> you okay? I would make this a, a lot more. I, would I make seriously it for would. Thanksgiving yeah, this is a great, for my family. And I love it. And so not only could I, I would love it hot like this, but I also think it would be good like ice, like oh, with some yes. ice cubes in, her, in it or something. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I, I even honestly, I might even put some whipped cream on top of it. Oh, Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. I think it would be really good. Yeah, that would. Anyhow, thank mm. you friends so much God, for watching. Good. And remember to check out my friends and their non-traditional holiday dishes as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMay. If you're looking for some unbelievable non-traditional dishes to add as a side dish or even another main dish, you have to check out my Holiday Feast Club collaborators. I'm going to brine a turkey in a very Asian-specific brine. Rosie over at iHeart Recipes made some sweet and savory waffle batter fried chicken. Noreen from Noreen's Kitchen brought us some German flair with homemade spatzel with parsley butter. And Denise said Didi Med, she made some aromatic Mediterranean rice with some toasted nuts on top. This is super yummy. And to wash it all down, guess what? April from Cook with April whipped up some fall-inspired pumpkin cider, and Chris from Caribbean Pot made some spicy ginger beer. Now we are talking. All these recipes are at a playlist that you can get to by clicking on this link right here.